the new chapter chapter number 9 is areas of parallelograms and triangles which are going to deal in today's session parallelograms and triangles we have dealt with various properties in quadrilateral special type of quadrilateral called a parallelogram and a triangle now comes the deep investigation on areas of parallelograms and triangles today's session is about investigation of triangles and parallelograms with their areas before we get into the areas of parallelograms and triangles let's come with the introduction introduction let's recap with geometry we have previously come out with the concept of geometry which was referred as geo plus metry that is geo stands for earth and metry stands for measure so measure of earth or measure of the agricultural fields or measure of the land is what from which geometry has originated so this problem was existing in prehistorical facts that many agriculture fields or lands were supposed to be divided among the children or the next ancestors so division of land to be done equally among all the sons or daughters was a difficult task during those times so geometry was very much in use during those times in order that the land be divided equally many of the people used mathematics probably so here comes the introduction of measure of earth connected with areas of parallelograms and triangles to continue with imagine i have a an agriculture field which is triangular in shape imagine this is my plot and this is the plot of land which i want to divide equally among three people like for example say budhia was a farmer a farmer budhia wanted to divide his triangular piece of land into three parts so that he wanted to distribute the land for his two daughters and one son so how can he distribute this triangular piece of land equally to the two sons and one daughter without any disputes this to be done mathematically so such problems give us an indication that we need to give more importance to areas of triangles and of course areas of parallelograms so here budhia has tried to cut his land out here and then he tried to cut his land from each corner to some part estimated part in the middle he wanted to cut his land in this region now after cutting his land into three parts in this manner he wanted to give this to the first piece to his son first son and this piece of land to his second son and this piece of land to his daughter who is third in number now he assumes that these three areas are equal according to budhia his estimation that from the center of this approximately the cutting of the land to each of his vertices of his agricultural land a b c are assumed to divide the whole triangular piece of land into three parts first second and third and according to budhia area of the first piece is equal to area of the second piece though they are in different shapes it is assumed that area of the first piece according to budhia is equal 
to area of the second piece and also this is equal to area of the third piece. is how we understand each of the areas being equal. Thus, the two sons and the daughter would happily share the land without any disputes. But here, the biggest question comes, how do you prove mathematically that these three are equal? Is it that they are just convinced that they are equal without any proofs and justifications? Or is it that really Budhya could justify the three pieces of land exactly in equal areas? Here comes the investigation in mathematics about how we can find the areas of equal pieces within the triangle. It's how we are going to connect in the future coming topics. Budhya's problem related with area of triangle subdivided into areas of three different pieces of triangles. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.